AMD looks like they'll be releasing high-powered mobile APUs, so stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMelt. Vega 11 has been making rounds since Vega's initial announcement. For the majority of that time, we thought Vega 11 was essentially the code name for a mid-range Vega to replace AMD's aging Polaris architecture. Unfortunately, in a recent interview, we found out this isn't the case. Instead, Vega 11 is designed as a GPU integrated into AMD's Raven Ridge APUs. Now, thanks to Informatica Chero, we have some leaked AMD slides that actually tells us quite a few things. Oddly enough, I can only find one of the two slides found by video cards from Informatica Chero, but I had to give you the information. Just know it's not verified at the moment, but it definitely makes sense with what we'd expect to see from the company. Starting off, we get our first look at Ryzen 3's mobile variant. It'll come equipped with Vega 6, which means it gets 6 compute units versus Ryzen 5's 8 and Ryzen 7's 10. Not surprisingly, it's called the Ryzen 3 2300U, and should be the least expensive and obviously least powerful notebook APU by AMD. Using power as a segue into the second slide, we see a new Ryzen mobile naming scheme, the Ryzen 3 2200G and Ryzen 5 2400G. As you can see, the Ryzen 3 2200G comes equipped with 4 cores and 4 threads, along with Vega 8, which is the same GPU in the Ryzen 5 2500U. But the Ryzen 3 2200G has a pretty massive bump in TDP with both 65 and 35 watt variants. Basically, these G chips are AMD's high power mobile APUs, similar to Intel's higher performance mobile chips while the U variants, which is what we've seen up until now, are the low or ultra low power variants. For those who may not know, the low power chips are more intended for ultrabooks and 2-in-1 style notebooks, basically the thin and light styles, while the high performance chips are more used in the traditional laptop meant for full on gaming or more demanding workstation type applications. With this information, we can expect higher clocks and in this case, more powerful GPUs, with the Ryzen 5 2400G sporting AMD's first Vega 11 integrated GPU. As with the other names, this means it comes with 11 compute units, which puts it higher than the current 10 in their Ryzen 7 2700U. Now you may have noticed that the slide only covers Ryzen 3 and 5, usually they announce a 7 variant first, so we may be able to expect even more out of Ryzen 7's GPU. Either way, both Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 will come in 35 and 65 watt variants, which is a far cry from their U variants at just a 15 watt TDP. How much this translates into higher frequencies from both the GPU and CPU is unclear, but one thing's for certain, AMD still isn't done and has their sights set on just about every market they can jump in, but will they come out victorious? Could Intel have more up their sleeves, or does it even matter? Do they simply have too much of a stranglehold on the market to lose significant numbers? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to keep up on all things hardware, don't forget to subscribe. That does it for now. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.